Hello, guys. Very nice. <laughs> Hi, guys. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. So, welcome to another class here with Alejandro Narbona and English Corporativo at your service. How are you guys? How was your weekend? ¿Qué tal su fin de? So, more or less. Tired. It was fine. Okay. <laughs> Very good use of the past of B. All right, guys. So before we move to the next, to the topics of the platform, do you have any questions about the past of B, which was the last class? Tenemos alguna pregunta con el pasado del verbo to be? No. 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 All good. All good. All right, if you say that is good, I'm going to ask you for some examples. You know that, right? <laughs> yes. All right, fantastic. So, Gio, give uh -huh. us some uh, examples. I was reading the, the irregular verbs. Mm -hmm. I, I got my list. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. And I, I was doing the, the exercise of the... There was the, the third the third question gave me a little trouble because I, I just want to answer in a long way. Mm -hmm. And and it's, it just was home. It's just one. It was man. just one. Yes. It's so simple but man. Exactly. Yeah. Remember guys that most of the times you gotta keep it short and simple. The keys method. Keep it short and simple. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, thank you very much for your effort, Gio. Carlos, uh -huh. you don't have any question with the past of the verb to be? Okay, uh, I don't know. Uh, practice more practice. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I, I have problem in the in the exercise 2.33, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know the answer correct. Let me see, which one was it? 2.13. 2.13. The last one, all right? Only, only, only number one is correct, uh, and more, I don't know. What is the answer is correct? All right, very good. Thank you very much for letting us know, Jorge. So, guys, help me out. Could you please help Jorge? Anybody has the answers that you can share? Uh, I think the first one was San Francisco, right? Yes. The second, it was. Uh, that he enjoyed. He enjoyed. Uh -huh. uh, so how, how do we ask them? I'm doing it as we speak. Does he enjoy it? Did he enjoy? And what is the did, short answer? Did he enjoy it? Uh, yes, he did. Okay. No. There we go. Go ahead and check it, see if it's correct. Enjoy it right in past or present? Um, what you gotta do in this one, do it as the short answer. I'm gonna do it right here. So in the chat, I just wrote it down. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh no, he didn't. This will be the negative. Those are short answers. Yes, he did or no, he didn't. And what about number three, guys? Who's got the answer? That was. Home. Home. Where did Barbara go? Home. Mm -hmm. Just home. Just home. Yes. 
Yes, uh, only only home. Okay, and then what about number four? Did she enjoy it? Yes, it did. Did she enjoy it? Mm -hmm. So how do we answer then? If it's affirmative and short answer for she. Okay. Yes, she did. I'm gonna... Yes, she did. Yes, yes mm -hmm. she did. Yes, she did. No. It's in the chat right now. I lost my glasses. Now, sometimes, guys, and this is very important. Welcome to everybody that has joined the meeting. Welcome, Jamira, JC, Kevin, Roxy, Ronnie. Now, sometimes it can give you a mistake because we have to write down the period at the end of the sentence. So make sure that you write it down, period. Asegurémonos de estar poniendo los puntos al final para que gramaticalmente sea adecuada y pueda, pueda aceptarlo el sistema. Ok. Uh -huh. Así le tiene que aceptar. It has to accept it with the period at the end. All right. Ok. All right, fantastic. So, uh, Jorge, you got it? Uh, number two and number four, no. Let me see. no. Yes, yes, he did. No, lo acepta. And number four, yes, she did. Tampoco. Make sure that you do it. I'm going to write it down again because in the first one I didn't write down the period. Make sure that you do it yes. this way. Yes, comma, he did, and the period. And the other one is yes, comma, she did, and the period. Yes, yes. Did All right. Thank you. Exactly. Yes, yes. It did. All right. So thank okay, you guys thank, for thank your you. help. That's what we do here. We work together. We are a team. Somos un equipo. Así que muchas gracias por ayudarse. Now, a veces el sistema es bastante demandante en cuanto a la escritura adecuada. Como les mencionaba antes, siempre asegurémonos de escribir en mayúsculas si son nombres propios, mm -hmm. mayúsculas al principio y punto al final cuando sea necesario. ¿Ok? Ok. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Este, yo... <coughs> Quería opinar acerca de algo también, porque en, en esa, en la, en la número tres, uh -huh. este, yo creo que hay varias respuestas que están bien, uh -huh. pero, ah, por, por ejemplo, o sea, eh, al explicar el ejemplo, dice de que ella no pudo salir porque no, a ningún lugar porque no tenía dinero uh -huh. y que se quedó en casa, pero que fue al gimnasio todos los días. Y la pregunta dice, ¿a dónde fue ella? Podría poner también que ella fue al gimnasio todos los días. No sé. Yeah, y, podría, y podría estar bien. Mm -hmm. could be. ¿Verdad? O sea, eh, lo, único que, lo único que como pregunta de qué hizo en sus vacaciones. Entonces, podría hacer, ¿verdad? También. Yeah. Ajá. Remember that podría there poner... Be... Ajá. Go ahead, go ahead. También podría haber puesto, eh, no fue a ningún lado, porque en realidad no salió de su casa. Uh -huh. so, yeah. yes, en este caso, prácticamente siempre tenemos bastantes escenarios y ahí vamos a prueba y error, ¿verdad? Porque el sistema solo puede tomar una y a veces pueden haber muchos puntos sí. de vista, different, different points of view. Ahora dice hay diferentes puntos de vista. Different, different say it with me. Different, 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 different points of view. Different. Of view. Different points of view. Exactly. Teacher, different points of view. Yo tengo una pregunta. Go ahead. Este, en mi caso, yo ya había logrado resolver al 2.12. Mm -hmm. Y hoy en la noche que estaba tratando de resolver el resto, me aparece como que no he hecho nada. Tengo a cero todo. No sé qué se ve esa situación. Mm, to be honest with you, I'm not sure. Tendría que reportarlo. Si gustas, en eh, mensaje privado, escríbeme tu, tu nombre completo y la situación para yo darle forward, para yo poderlo mandar a los administradores del, del, del portal 
y que podamos ver qué ha pasado con tu contenido. Las disculpas del caso y pues vamos a tratar de, de solventarlo. Okay. Eh, sí. Igual, a mí me pasó igual, pero lo que pasa, Roxana, es que hay dos grupos de, ¿cómo le digo? Hay dos, dos cursos de, inter, de intermedio, dos. Véalo bien porque yo igual me asusté, pero sí está el, busque el primero, el primero es el que comenzó, porque hay dos cursos del mismo. El pre-intermedio módulo 2, 8 de octubre. Ajá, es que hay dos, entonces. I'm going to be sending you guys, les voy a mandar nuevamente el link donde podríamos acceder directamente. Mm. I'm sending the link to WhatsApp. Ya, so, ya entendí, ya me apareció. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Okay, Very thank much. you. Thank you guys for backing up. Gracias por apoyarnos entre todos. Anyways, I'm sending the link. Estoy mandando el link para cualquiera puede, que pueda tener dudas. Está okay, en uh, teacher. También en WhatsApp. Uh -huh. uh, I have a question. Dice que en, el, en la plataforma, ¿verdad? En el ejercicio 1.13, eh, me sale una imagen y dice enviar, pero no sé... No sé qué tengo que hacer. Um, I would have to go back to that one. Tendría que regresar a ese. Cualquier tipo de problema, guys, que ustedes tengan con la plataforma, lo que les aconsejaría es que tomen un screenshot. Okay. Uh, y ese screenshot, por favor, traten de reportar todo al grupo para yo poderlo pasar a la persona adecuada en su debido momento y poderlo pues, solucionar en el, el menor tiempo posible. O si en este caso es una situación como la del... La del segundo grupo que no pueden accesar, pues poderlo solventar. Ok. Ok. So, let me check, let me go real quick to, you say 1.13, 1.13. Ok. Ok. Porque es la de take a survey. In the meantime, guys, if somebody has done it already, si alguien ya lo hizo, pues denos su opinión. Let me see. Section 1. No, no lo, eh, lo que pasa es que en ese ejercicio pide que se haga la suma de, la, de las respuestas, pero realmente no tiene dónde no tiene dónde ponerle la, la, la ah, eh, Yo le, le preguntaba por qué en la sección 1 no me sale al 100%, sino que es como un 90, se acaba. Ok, I'm checking that right now. 1.3, you said. 1.3 sería. 13. 1.3. Does everybody have the same problem? Todos tienen el mismo problema. Sí. Es que no, no tiene una opción para, para poder escribir o algo. Okay. No, yo creo que solo era el, ajá, solo era la imagen para que I'm hicieras sorry. la suma. Uh -huh. I'm going mm -hmm. to just a second. I'm trying to go there. Es el de Health and Fitness Quiz. Es un momento. Pero eso no le genera porcentaje, no, digo, no le genera puntuación. Compañero. Correcto, eh, por eso Correcto. que decía que no genera al 100%. Pero quizás en algo otra, no la complemento, pero sí da el 100%. Este. Let me check, I'm loading that right now. Estoy, estoy yendo al 1.13 para clarificar la duda. Pero no genera, no suma. Oh, yeah, ya, yeah, exactly. This one, guys, este no tiene nada. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nada. Prácticamente, si ustedes quieren, lo que pueden hacer es, pues, publicar cuál fue su puntaje. Pero no es un puntaje de plataforma, sino es un puntaje suyo. Para que puedan uh -huh. hacer la sumatoria. Uh -huh. No, de soy healthy. Mini. De todos modos, salí mal, así que mejor no. <risa> so, yeah. Ahí ustedes pueden ponerlo en la caja de comentarios. You can write it down in the, in the comment box. So, you know, you can have a chat, you can talk about it. But yeah, don't worry about it. It has no percentage to be covered. If you have 90%, si tienes 90%, uh, probably there's some other exercise that is still not being done. Okay. So, guys, I want to say thank you antes de comenzar, ya con la clase. Quiero darles gracias por poderme decir sus dudas, cualquier cosa. Pues no teman en escribir al grupo de WhatsApp. Entonces, que entre todos nos ayudamos. Y si es algún tipo okay. de problema técnico, pues, pues te lo reporto. Pero como este, ya nos dimos cuenta que era simplemente 
<clears throat> it was just about answering the reading material. And that's for you to check if you have to do exercise or not. I have to. I don't know about you. All right, guys. Are you ready to start? Yes. yes. Fantastic. So today we're going to go through exercise 3.0. Well, the lesson objective. With the audios, I'm going to send the audio to the WhatsApp group so you can do it individually. Okay? And if you have any question about the audio, I think it is two point, the last one, the last audio of, of part number two, section number two, and you can do it by yourself. Lo pueden hacer ustedes, si tienen alguna pregunta, pues me dejan saber, okay? Okay. okay. All right, so let's get back to try. All right, so I'm sharing you the screen, guys. We're gonna start here. So read it with me, lesson objective. Lesson objective. Let's lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Exactly. Now, I'm going to start reading a little bit more, guys. Voy a estar empezando a leer un poquito más, no tan cortado, para que podamos practicar un poquito nuestra fluidez y nuestros linking sounds, all right? So, okay. okay. Repeat after me, only after I stop. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about bases in town. Go. In this session, participants will listen to a All right, very good. Pay attention to there is, there are, oops, sorry. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Pay attention to there is, there are, some, some, excellent. So here, say it with me, there is, there is, there is, there are, there are, there are, there are. Now, pronunciation is very important, guys. If it sounds like a P, Si le suena como D, no está bien. Tenemos que poner nuevamente para la TH la lengua debajo de los puntos de adelante y hacerlo vibrar antes de sacar el sonido. Like this. Look at the, at the, at the image. There is. There is. There is. There is. There is. So it has to vibrate. Tiene que vibrar. There is, there is, there is, there is, there is, there is, there are, there is, there are, 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 I'm going to be sharing this with you, and we will only do it once, so we can go to the other activity. Stop the share and share with Audi, just for a moment. Yes. Welcome, everybody, to Section 8. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do. We listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors. Just asking about places in town. Pay attention, there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? <laughs> you got it, right? All right. <laughs> So yeah, she was asking me to Any around here? get his hair done. All right, guys. So as you always know, repeat after me, please. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Exacto. Ex, como ese que tanto duele o tanto alegra, ¿verdad? Ex. I'm your neighbor. I'm your neighbor. I'm your neighbor. Jack. 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 I just moved in. And we link it. I just, I just moved in. I just moved in. I just moved in. I just moved in. Uh huh. And this one, since we have it in past, we have to do the uh, DS and David sound. Move in. Move in. Move in. Exactly. I just moved in. I just moved in. Moved in. All right. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, yes. 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 I'm looking for a grocery store. I'm looking for a grocery store. Correct. I'm looking for a grocery store. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? 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 around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Yes, yes. Uh, there are some on Pine Street. Street. Mm -hmm. Here, guys, we're going to be linking here. There are some on Pine Street. We link it. So let's do it again. Yes, there yeah. are some on yeah. Pine Street. Yes, yes. So there are some, some on Pine, Pine Street. Street. Mm -hmm. Some on Pine Street. Some on Pine Street. Street. All right, very good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good. And is there a laundromat near here? Is there a laundromat near here? And is there a laundromat near here? We link almost everything right here. We almost casi todo. And is and there a laundromat? Is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Well, uh huh. So let's do it one more time and fast. Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Well, well, well I, I think there's, there's one, one across from the shopping, shopping, shopping center. center. From the shopping center. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here Thank is you. the same position, the same mouth position Thank as you. there is, but the difference is that this Thank one you. doesn't vibrate. Okay, la misma posición de la lengua debajo de los dientes de adelante, pero en este caso vamos a sacar el aire, es un sonido unvoiced. So vamos a decir... Thank you, como Z. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, fantastic. Thank you. By the way. 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 There's a barber shop in, let me see, I can barely read here. There's a barber shop in the shopping center. There's a barber shop. There's a barber shop. There's a barber shop. There's a barber shop. All right, how do you say disculpe? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Neighbor. 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 Very good. Mudarse a algún lugar? Move on. Move on. Move in. 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 Sería, ¿Cuál es lo opuesto? Um, out. ¿Cómo? Out. So vamos a decir move out. Move out. Move out. Move out. Move out. Uh -huh. Ya cuando no hacen casa y los quieren sacar de la casa, les dicen, please, move out. Move out. Oh, yes. Move, move out. out. Move out. Move out. Move out. Okay. Move out. So, how do you say tienda? Shop store. Store. Oh, o tienda cuando nosotros vamos a comprar, por ejemplo, una soda o algo para la casa. Grocery. Grocery. There are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. Sorry about that. All right, very good. Um, who can tell me what a laundromat is? ¿Alguien tiene una idea de qué es un laundromat? Lavandería. 
Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Do we have any of those here in El Salvador? Mm, ¿Tenemos de yes. eso? Yes. No sé. Sin comercial, yes. ¿verdad? <laughs> no commercial, but we have some. La diferencia con un laundromat, guys, es donde ustedes generalmente meten moneditas. Okay? No tanto mm. así que se le lleven a una cadena que les lave la ropa, sino que son máquinas que ustedes meten las monedas para que funcione. Yes, yes, de verdad. Perfect, guys. Pronunciation is very important. So make sure that every audio you have, you practice it at home. Cada audio que ven acá, practíquenlo. Play, pause, repeat. Play, pause, repeat, and so on. So, 3.2, let's do it. Lesson objective. In this session, participants will learn about how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, some. Go. All right, very good. Xiomara, give me a number one to ten, please. Mm, in this session, participants will learn about how to ask and answer questions with this. This, this is, there are, one, any, some. Ok, very good. Thank you very much. So, en esta clase los participantes aprenderán cómo hacer y responder preguntas con hay, un, algún, algún. Alright? So, I share with you, I'm going to play this audio just for you, this video, but I share with you a link. Les comparto un link con el que vamos a estar trabajando el día de hoy. Okay? Please mute your microphone. Hey everyone, welcome back to another session. This time, we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place, which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to Near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes there is, or no there isn't. If your answer is yes there is, you may continue by saying yes there is. There's one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronic store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. All right, guys. So we will be practicing Prepos some prepositions of place. How do we ask? Hay un supermercado cerca? Is there a supermarket near mm. here? Exactly. Very good. Exactly. We use this one. How do we ask? Hay una pupusería cerca? Uh -huh. Is there? Is there any pusseria near here? 
There you go, exactly. So that's how it is, guys. Una vez nosotros entendemos la estructura, everything is down here. So, I need a volunteer to ask. ¿Hay algún subine en tu vecindario? Anybody? ¿Cómo dijo? How do you say? How did you say? ¿Hay algún cine en, en tu vecindario? No. There is a cinema near your neighborhood. Is. Is. Mm -hmm. Is there a cinema? Is, is there some cinema? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or movie theater? Is there a cinema? In your yeah. neighborhood? How do we say CCI? Yeah, yeah. There are. Yes, there, there, is. There, there is. is. Yes, there, there, is. Is. there is. Oh, no, I? No, there, no, is. there, no, is. there, there isn't. isn't. No, there isn't. Very good. Now, how do you say, hay alguna tienda aquí cerca o en el área? Exactly. So here we're going to use R and we will use it for plural. Si ustedes se fijan con el is, ocupamos un nombre más. All right. When, when teacher, I can hear. Mm -hmm. Vamos a when we're going to use there is for singular. Ya lo vamos a ver. We're going to cover that right now. Mm -hmm. Now, si preguntan con there is or is there, vamos a contestar también con is. Mm -hmm. Si con are, pues vamos a contestar también con are. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, quickly, with preposition. On. 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 Now, mm -hmm. ¿cuándo ocupamos on, guys? ¿Alguien sabe? For when uh, you on place. Para lugar, place. Uh -huh. Exactly. On lo vamos a ocupar para calles, por ejemplo, nombres de calle. Okay. En la calle. So, how do you say en la 75 Avenida Norte? On 75th, exactly. 75th. On 75th. 75th. Mm -hmm. Now, Avenue. next to, how do you say a la par de? Next to. Next to. Next to. Very good. Cerca? Near. 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 Yeah. Or close to. Or close to. Close to. Exactly. Close to. Across from, cruzando algo? Cruzando. Across from. Across from. Across from. Across from. Opposite to the Opposite. other side. Opposite. How do you say in front? In front of. In front of. In front of. Vamos a linkearlo, guys. In front of. In front of. In front of. In front of. Atrás. In front of. In front of. Back of behind. In the back of. Behind. Correct. Medio de. Between. Between. En la esquina de. Of the corner, 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 of, corner of, 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 on the corner of, correct. All right, so um, we're going to be making groups in a couple of minutes, guys, and we will be reviewing this knowledge check. But before the knowledge check, before the knowledge check, I want to share this with you. Give me just a second. Here's what I share. As I was explaining to you guys, we're going to use there is for singular nouns. Okay? So, how do you say hay una tienda en mi vecindario? There is a grocery store. Ay, estamos afirmando. There is a grocery store in my area. A grocery store. Mm -hmm. is, so, okay. how do you say hay tiendas en mi vecindario? Generalmente hay varias. There are. There are. There are. Uh -huh. There are. Uh -huh. There are. There are. There are. Exactly. There are grocery stores. No. Grocery store. Grocery store. 
Grocery, a eso no le ponemos el plural. Lo que lleva el plural siempre es el noun. Y el noun es lo que está al final. Este es un noun. Grocery stores. Grocery stores. Un noun compuesto, guys, es que simplemente tiene dos, dos uh, partes y forma uno. Grocery store. Es un grocery store. Grocery store. Grocery store. So, how do you say... Oh, we also use there is for uncountable noun. How do you say hay azúcar? There is sugar. There is some sugar. Exactly. There is some sugar. Hay algo de azúcar. Now, no hay, no hay una cafetería. There is a cafeteria. There is a cafeteria. Very good. No hay hospitales. There aren't hospitals. Very good. Now, generalmente cuando no hay nada, vamos a ocupar any. Any. So, no hay hospitales. There are any hospitals. And we can also use there isn't para uncountable nouns. So how do you say no hay azúcar? There isn't any sugar. There is sugar. And guys, why do we have A here? ¿Por qué tenemos el artículo A acá y no acá? Y en este. Porque es contable. Exactly. Contable and also. This is very important. A car, a table, a cell phone, uh -huh. etc. Porque es singular. All right. And in plurals or uncountable nouns, we don't use it. Right? Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. We're going to be using these guys. How do you ask? Oh, and we have the questions here. As you can see, we just switch. There is, is and there. is. This is a statement. This is an oration. Okay. And this is a question. Okay. Any questions with this before, I, before we break the rooms? No. No? Speak now or be quiet forever. All right. ¿Alguna pregunta, guys? Qué pena. Acuérdense que si tienen preguntas. Sí que manden esto. No. All right. I think that they already did. Let me check the phone. A screenshot. Okay. No, we don't have it. This is what I'm going to do, guys. Let me stop the sharing so you don't see my messages. That's private. And I'm going to send you the link via WhatsApp too. So you don't have to save a screenshot and you can share it. There you go. All right, guys. I'm sending the link to you. I'm going to give you some time for you to practice. Ask each other questions. Is there, how do you say, um, let me see, farmacia? Is there a pharmacy? Mm -hmm. Pharmacy. You can say, pharmacy. You can say drugstore. How drugstore. Say, let me see. Supermercado. Supermarket. 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 No me van a decir supermarket, que es un supermarcador. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So I'm going to be breaking the rooms. Vamos a, a hacer los grupos. Make sure that you accept. And I'm going to be visiting you. All right. Okay. All right, there we go. Jorge, buenas noches. Te saluda Jorge Mendoza. Vengo llegando a la. All right. Please make sure that you accept. So I already have Carlos, Marcela.
Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. All right. I'm here. So, um, please start asking questions to each other. Empecemos a hacernos preguntas de si hay tal cosa en nuestro vecindario. You can also use proper noun. Okay. Is there a dollar city in your neighborhood, etc., etc.? Okay. Uh, are there, uh, sorry, is there uh, a school in your neighbor, neighborhood? Yes, there is. There is a school near my neighborhood. Okay. Okay. Roxy, can you hear us? Ruth? Is there a drugstore near here? Okay. Fantastic. So what we can do is this. You can say, um, Carlos, and you ask the question. Ruth, and you ask the question. Make sure oh, you use okay. E and R and ask questions to each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a hospital in you? Sorry, quiero ver. Hospital. New. ¿Cómo se dice cerca? Near. Near. Near the war. Okay, very good. And who's going to answer, Roxana or Ruth? Uh, Roxana. <laughs> no, they aren't. No, there. No, there aren't. No, there aren't. Mm -hmm. All right. How about so, with you, Ruth? Can you hear us, Ruth? Nos puede escuchar? Perhaps she's having issues with the microphone. All right. In the meantime, Carlos and Roxy, go ahead and practice, and I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Thank okay. you. Hello, Laura, can you hear me? ¿No puedo escuchar, Laura? Laura, si me escucha, le he mandado una solicitud para que se pueda unir a un grupo. Por favor, acéptela para que pueda practicar con sus compañeros. Laura? All right, it seems that we are having, or Laura is having technical issues or internet issues that she, she cannot hear us. Uh, do you have a dog in your home? No, only one cat. I, I love that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay, you. Is there a hospital? In your neighborhood? Yes, there is a, a maternidad, hospital, maternidad. <laughs> it's near here. Okay, fantastic. Good job, girls. Try to use prepositions. You're doing a good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye. See you. <laughs> yes, I think yes there are. <laughs> yes there are. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. In the work or, or in the class, Moises? In the work uh, or in, in the, the class. class. In oh, the work, okay. I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have. Okay. 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 Uh, are there some are there some classmates in your class? Are there uh, any? In question, there, hey guys, by the way, I'm here. I'm just I, saying are there any? Are there any, exactly. Any we classmates? Use for any, Moises, we're going to uh -huh. use it for questions and negatives. In negative. Mm -hmm. Questions and negatives. So you can okay. say, are there any classmates? Yes, there are some. No, there mm -hmm. aren't any. Ah, no, okay. 
Uh -huh. Please remind okay. me, when, cuando terminen los grupos, por favor, acuérdame para hacer esa aclaración de cuando estemos todos, ¿ok? Ok, Bye. thank you. Okay. All right, thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Sí, okay. 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 Hello, Ruth, can you hear me? Ruth, if you can hear me, I just sent you an invitation so you can join a group, okay? Okay. Hello, guys, I'm here, but I'm not here. Continue. Oh. Okay, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, there is... There, there, there is, uh, there is beer, beers in my fridge. Is there making yours? Se puede hacer eso, sí. Yes, Se puede you preguntar can. así. Sí. Yes, but uh -huh. you can add, are there? No, are there? Are uh, there any are, beers in your fridge? Uh, are there any beers in your fridge? Uh -huh, there you go. No, And, they. Uh huh. No, they aren't. No. You drink it at all. <laughs> you drink it all. <laughs> <laughs> it would be no, there aren't. No, no there aren't. There aren't. Mm -hmm. Acuérdense, guys, que como tip, si a ustedes les preguntan con is, generalmente vamos a contestar con, con is. is. Si les preguntan con are, generalmente vamos a contestar con are. are. Mm -hmm. are. Si tú estás preguntando, ¿tienes cervezas? En plural. Are there be beers? In your, in your fridge, como preguntamos con are, vamos a contestar, fridge. yes, there are, o en negativo, no, it there, there are, not. There there aren't. Aren't. No. y podemos hacer como, como, como así, como, de, yeah. sí, como que yo afirmo y después pregunto, digamos, there are some beers in my fridge, yes, y después sir. pregunta, there are some in yours, Yeah, yeah, you can say. Ah, sí, you sí, can puede. say that. Hey, listen, there are some beers in my fridge. By the way, this is just an example, okay? Ajá, ajá. There are some beers in my fridge. <laughs> okay? Are there in yours? Are there in yours? Exactly. So, it is possible, Gio, are but make sure beers. for you to have it easier, follow the structure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right? Okay. All right. Okay. See you in a few minutes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, in back of, of your uh -huh. in back of your home. Mm -hmm. And in pharma pharmacy in back of in back of in back of in back of your home. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sí. In your back home. You can actually say, hey, hi, by the way, <laughs> I'm here. Hi. You can actually say, <laughs> um, in your house, or in uh -huh. the your house. Mm -hmm. In your house. In back, in your house? In the back, in the back of your house. In the, ah, yeah, in the back. Mm -hmm. In the back of your house. Mm. Is no. on or in? Either or, I mean, you can say in the back of your house or on the back of your house. Okay. If you okay. Want to be clear, what happens is the following. Native speakers, sometimes they interchange those. Okay? But if on the book, mm -hmm. if in the book you have on, go ahead and use on. Or if in the, in the presentation. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and break the rooms. Okay. All right, so we're breaking the rooms, so everybody's coming back. All right, I got Roxana already. And I'm gonna have the rest team.
All right, guys. So we are coming back little by little. Do you have any questions with about this topic? Uh, not for now, but they're very interesting. Hmm. It, it is. You can make very interesting questions, right, Gio? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fantastic. So, guys, just to to clarify everything or to narrow down everything. We're gonna use there is, there are to check if there is something there, if it's real, if it exists, okay? Vamos a ocupar there is, there are para saber si de verdad hay algo ahí, si existe o no, okay? Like in the image that I sent you, you have it here, I'm sorry. To say that something exists or doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. So, generalmente lo vamos a ocupar para preguntar, para decir, mira, y hay tal cosa o tal lugar que se puede ocupar nombre particular si ustedes quieren no lo hago para no dar tanta promoción gratuita mm -hmm. o simplemente podemos decir mira hay tal cosa en tal lugar all right okay all right fantastic guys um, any questions right here any other question Marce Xiomara Ruth Daisy no. No, teacher. No? All right. Teacher. So, something that I wanted to clarify, guys, is the following. Algo que quería clarificar también es que nosotros vamos a, hacer, a usar generalmente any para negativas y preguntas. Por eso nosotros preguntamos there any. ¿Ok? Or is there any. Preguntamos any para preguntas. Y negativo. Y son generalmente lo ocupamos para contestar. Hola, este... ¿no? Ok. All right. All right, fantastic, guys. Hola. So, in the last four Hola. minutes, Hola. I'm going to break the rooms. And I wanted to try to do the knowledge check. Necesito que traten de avanzar lo más que puedan en cuanto al knowledge check. Vamos a hacer nuevos grupos y regresaremos en aproximadamente cuatro minutos. All right. So, try to do it as fast as possible. Some of the Hi, Laura. Hi. All right, I went ahead and sent it. Go ahead and try to resolve the knowledge check. Any questions, let me know. See you in four minutes. Is there, is there a, a, a ver. yes there is one is it on the corner of elm street and make yeah. avenue in the esquina no. maple avenue maple avenue mm -hmm. maple avenue maple. is there a Hotel near. Hotel. Here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think it's hotel. Is there a hotel near here? Yes, there is one. Yeah. 
po. No. Hi guys, how are you doing? And Joe is the one who is behind. Ah, Joe is the department store. El, um, it's it's Joe is no. Or... Joe is I think Joe is the Joe is. Mm. Let me see. Okay, is there isn't, but. Hello, Jorge. Hi, teacher. Did you get the invite for you to join one of the groups? Yes. Uh, my, my Nadia. <laughs> You're supposed to be with Gio and JC. All right. Okay. Yeah, you're supposed to be with you and Jason. All right. Anyways, I'm I'm gonna close the rooms right now. Okay. All right. So let's bring everybody back. In the meantime, Jorge, do you have any questions about this? Uh, for the moment, no question. All right. Understood. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Answer. All right. Uh, now let's check. Three point four. Mm -hmm. Three point four. All right, guys. Yeah. So, well, I just have Janira and, and and you. Let's wait for the rest for the group to be canceled. Okay. Uh, so, sorry. Hi, Janita. All right, guys. Are you all here? Hi. Hello. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Now, guys, this topic is a little bit not heavy but you do have to practice it a lot, okay? Um, as a recommendation, with every single topic, during the day, if you have time, try to do different exercises. Traten de hacer diferentes ejercicios. Google, it's a wonderful tool. Pongan ahí ejercicios, or there is, there are exercises. Okay. Traten de hacer un par. Siempre traten de buscar el patrón. Uh -huh. okay. Algo que se repite una y otra vez. Así para cuando nos conectemos el día de mañana, ustedes ya tienen preguntas o dificultades, me plantean la situación y nos podemos ayudar entre todos. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, okay. okay teacher. Fantastic. Okay, teacher. Thank you very much. Thanks to you for logging in. And uh, on behalf of Inglés Corporativo, my name is Alejandro Narbona. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow, guys. Thank, Thank you, you, too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.